What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create realistic roof construction in Revit. Now I've already shown you how to create rafters in Revit and how to make your roof construction look a bit more realistic but that's not really the roof construction that's just the rafters. There is a whole the, another construction underneath that holds those rafters in place and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to model all of that construction. And as far as other Revit roof tutorials where you can see how to do the rafters and how to do everything else independently, make sure to check out the playlist I left in the description of this tutorial. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this one. You don't have to use structural. And here we are. And let's just set the units to, I don't know, let's go with meters for this one. It just doesn't matter that much. Okay, so now I'm just going to be placing some, uh, we need to place some something to place our roof construction on. And I'm just going to go here to south elevation and here I'm just going to create another level. So we have level 1 and level 2, so I'm just going to go here to level and add another level over here. Okay, now level 3, this will be the height of the roof construction. And let's place it at 3 meters perhaps. Maybe we'll adjust that a bit later. Then I'm just going to go back into level 1 and let's add some walls. Or before adding walls, let's add some grids. That's probably more important. So I'm just going to be placing like th this, like three grids over here. And for the distances, yeah, you can leave them at, I don't know, four or five meters. Let's do five. So let's place five over here. And now let's add another grid. So let's add place a grid line like this. And let's just rename it into A and then this will be ABC. So this will be the position of the construction elements on our roof construction. So what I'm going to do with these, I'm just going to go create similar, use the offset, and here for the offset, let's do something like three meters. So I'm just going to, oops, I went the wrong way. Okay, so let's do one, two, three, four, Okay, let's do four. That's that's enough for this tutorial. And then we're going to have some separate roof elements or rafters in between these construction elements. But anyway, let's just start placing walls now. And let's just use this generic 200 and go from uh, the height from level one to level two. So just place three walls like this. This is like just going to represent the house on which we're building our placing our construction. And let's go level two, and here we can see those walls. So let's place a uh, some sort of a, I guess you would call it a floor on top. So I'm just going to go like this, create a floor on top, and yeah, let's attach our walls. And if we go into 3D, so this is what we have. This is the the construction of the house underneath, and now we're going to be placing our roof on top of that. So I'm just going to go now to level two. And here we need to start placing construction elements. So first we need two uh, beams, wooden beams, running along uh, this grid line 1 and grid line 2. And for that we need to load some beams, beams, beam, <laughs> beams, not beans. And let's go to structure, go to beam, and load family. Step back a folder if you want to use the metric uh, library. And search down and find structural framing so that those are the beams and go to wood and I like using this timber and I like to use this 140 by 140 for these elements and before we place the element I just like to change the Z justification uh, from top to bottom so this will allow us to place uh, this beam on the it won't be embedded into the floor but it will be on top of the floor and if I just go here to find and now we can see it and if we go in here into 3D, you can see now the justification for the Z axis is on bottom. And if I change this to top, it would be like this. So that doesn't work. So that's why you need to keep it at bottom when you're placing it over here. And now let's go back into level two. We can hit copy and copy from here to here. Okay, so we've got those two beams. Now it's time to start placing our construction elements. And first we need to uh, place a column over here. So just go to architecture, go to column, 
or not architecture, structure, go to structural column. And here, of course, we only have this ugly steel column, and this is a beautiful wooden traditional construction. So let's go to load family. And here we're already in wood, but this is the, these are the beams, we need columns. So step back a few folders, find structural columns, wood, and again, you have this timber, and we can open it up and we can search the same dimension, the 140 by 140 millimeter. And here for the depth, just change that to height and from level, ah, okay, it's at level three, so that works. And just place it like this, and then you can use the align tool to align it to the beginning of this uh, floor slab. And if we go into 3D, this is what we have. So we've got this beam that's kind of holding our roof construction in place. But now we need to add some uh, rafters, the first pair of rafters, so we can determine some of the dimensions for this roof. And for that, uh, what I like to do is I like to go to level two and just place a rafter on the floor over here. So just go beam and let's do a new beam. So let's go into edit type and here we're just going to be changing this B dimension, that's the thickness. So I'm just going to go duplicate and go 140 by 100. And here I'm just going to change this to 0, 01. Go OK and let's place a beam kind of like this towards there. And if I go into 3D, this is what we get. Now here I'm just going to select this number and change it to, I don't know, something like 4 meters. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, this looks fine. Okay, and now if we're going to be doing th this construction, we need to now bring this down a bit. So we need this part of the construction, if I go here to South Elevation, okay, and go to Find just to see everything. We need this resting on this beam over here. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to bring this down a bit, minus 0.3. Yeah, and let's bring this down a bit as well. Let's do let's do 3.5, let's see. Yeah, this looks better. And let's bring this down just a little bit, maybe five centimeters. Yeah, and now it's just resting on this beam over here and looks looks great over here. And now we're just going to bring this down a bit. So change this from seven to, I don't know, like 6.5, yeah. And here we're going to have another construction element. But before we do that, let's just mirror this to the other side. So just double M for mirror. And now we have this. Okay, so we, if we now go into 3D, this is what you have. So you have this part of the construction. Now we need to connect this beam to these rafters. And you don't connect it just by extending it. It needs to connect at these two points, so we need to add another two construction elements, but also we need to add another beam in the middle that's in the on this height of this beam. So how do you do that? You need to go to level three, and again go here to find, to see everything, and here in the middle you're just going to be adding a new beam. So go beam, timber, 140 by 140, and you just start from here, and you go all the way to the other side. And if we're just going to 3D, this is what we get. And just extend it over here. So this uh, this column is basically holding this beam in place. And this beam will be holding rafters in place using something that in my country we call scissors. I don't know what's it called in English, but it's a horizontal construction element. And I'm just now going to show you how to place it. And to place it, we just need to extend this maybe a little bit outside. Okay, so now let's go into South Elevation go into architecture component model in place and once we're here we can go to uh, generic element let's just go generic models and here let's set the extrusion pick a plane and you're just going to pick this face of the beam and now let's place a rectangle kind of like this and extend it to the other side and usually the height of this is the similar to height of the beam so let's do 0.14 yeah, and then you extend it all the way here, and then you choose this point, and you attach it to this. You choose this point, and you kind of bring it in, and you do the same thing here. So this point can extend it, this bring it in, and for the extrusion end, go with 0 0.5, so that's 5 centimeters, and if I go into 3D, this is what it looks like. So it's kind of resting on this beam, and let's select it, go into east elevation yeah and now we can just 
oops, yeah, let's, no, let's undo, let's go here to find, yeah, and let's just copy it now, so unconstrain it, and you just copy it to the other side, okay, move it a bit inward, yeah, and if we go into 3D, this is what it looks like now, just select all of these elements and turn them to wood, so just go wood, and let's assign this, uh, let's use this cherry wood material and just go finish model. So this is what we get. So this is one like group element. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all of these elements and copy it. And let's go into level two. So once we are here, we need to copy it uh, three times. So here we'll have two in the middle and then one here. So you can do that just by creating an array. So you do that but just by going over here to array and then we can uh, okay and then we can just count how many we have so we have one over here one over here so this is two three four and in between we have two so five six seven eight nine ten so we need ten elements so just go here number ten and just go from first to last and let's just start from here and extend it all the way to the other side Okay, and if we go into 3D, this is what this looks like, but we actually don't need columns on these middle ones. So how do you fix that? So I'm just going to go back and then let's just select all of these elements and now go back into level two. So let's go array again. Okay, and let's do four now. So just do four and go again here to last. So now we have them in the middle. So th these are the ones with columns, but then I'm just going to go here and select just the rafters and these scissor elements and go back into level two and just go array or copy. You can go with copy for this one and just go mul multiple and you select it and you move it just by one meter and then you move it again by one meter and then we can select these two let's just go into 3d it's a bit easier so you just select these two go back into level two and you can just copy them from this point to this point and again to this point okay so we have all of these elements and one more thing we need to do as you can see we have this cool looking structure but it doesn't have any bracing so if wind starts going from this side or this side this will all bend left and right so how do you fix that you need to add more elements and for that let's go into level 2 and let's create a reference plane so oops so just go reference plane and create a reference plane here in the middle and let's just call it a reference plane a and let's just go to this elevation and here we can see this is where the column is. You can see it's a bit thicker than here. And let's just go to arch uh, to structure. Uh, let's go to column. And here for pick a plane, go with plane A. And now we're going to do be doing this slanted column over here. So just go like this at 45 degrees. So you get something that looks like that. And then you can select it and mirror it to the other side so you have this kind of cross bracing element and then you can just go copy and you can copy it from here to this beam over here and then you can select it and move it even to this and this beam and then we're just going to delete be deleting the outside elements and if we go into 3d this is what our final roof construction looks like we need to have these cross bracing elements we need to have the, these columns this uh, beam in the running in the middle and then we need these scissors holding the uh, rafters in place okay so there's our traditional roof construction in Revit completed thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day